Welcome back everybody, VST here, Valspeed Tech. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use your fingerprint to lock your albums from the Samsung Stock Gallery application. I believe that's a very nice feature. I have to make this disclaimer, it's not 100% bulletproof, but it can save you, I think, in some interesting situations. The default Samsung One UI 5 in that case gallery of behavior is like this. You open your gallery, you go inside your albums, you click here on view all, and then you click on the three dots, and you have the options to hide an album. So let's say I'm gonna click on the hide album. I cannot click screenshots and downloads, so let's say I wanna hide the expert row. So now the expert row hidden toggle is selected. I'll go back to my albums, and now you can just see expert row is not visible, and that's actually not a bad thing, right? If you wanna get it back, you need to just follow the same steps, click on hide albums and just unhide it, right? It will then reappear. But what if I tell you there is a better option? Because when you hide stuff from you, you might tend to forget, right? And then sometimes you just wonder, hey, where is this or where is that? There is an option, guys, for you to enable the gallery lapse or hidden settings and just use your fingerprint authentication to lock. First things first, how do we enable the gallery lap settings? Very easy, guys. You need to go one step back, click on the hamburger, go to the settings, and then click on the About Gallery. Once you're here on the version, start tapping like crazy, right? After several taps, you're gonna see Gallery Lapse is enabled. There is going to be a new menu inside your gallery settings called Gallery Labs. Only for internal tests, the functions in Labs are not official, and it can be disappeared anyway. Don't look at this right now. For One UI 5, guys, there is something called the Album Entry Locks. The Album Entry Locks with Lock Screen Credentials. Know that it shall not provide secure service or access control of multimedia contents. Now we have to enable it. You're gonna get then this disclaimer that once the album is locked, the contents are not shown on the pictures on the album tab. But hey, it's still not so secure because apparently you can use my files or any other regular file browser and still get inside and access them. But again, it's just better. So I'm just going to demonstrate how this works. Also note, while applying a new settings, guys, you just need to close and reopen the gallery again. Now I'm back inside my albums menu. This time, guys, let's say I wanna lock something. So how does this work? I'm gonna select the downloads, right? I'm gonna click here on more, and I'm gonna have an option called the lock album, which is not available previously. And now what is the beauty of this? If I want to access my downloads, guys, I need to use always my fingerprint. So I really like the lock feature first, because still you are gonna be able to see your things there, but that's gonna be hidden. Then the second thing, of course, only you are gonna be able to access them. And then the third thing is it will allow you to lock things like downloads and other albums that you're not able to hide when using the regular hide functionality. And again, guys, make sure to remember this. Once you lock an album, it will not be 100% protected. Somebody with access to your phone can use the file browser and still access those pictures. But hey, still something. And I really hope that you like this tip. If that's the case, don't forget to like the video, sub to the channel, guys. Sub will be much appreciated. Please you and your family stay safe until we meet in one of my next videos. And with that said, VST over and bye.